sweet nun. I miss you so. I do not know if your father will let you read this letter. I do not even know if you've learned how to read. I know so little about you, and yet I think of you constantly. I love you so much. I've not forgotten my promise to you. I'm doing all I can to find a way for us to be together. You won't. I miss it so. What, mother? The circus. More than him. Your father's death was a tragedy, but I miss the circus more. It takes power to hold on to a trapeze. And the day I lost my balance jumping from the trapeze onto the horse, it haunts me. That day, I knew it was finished. It was over for me. I did not have the strength in me anymore to go on. Here she is, acting like a queen, waiting for you to fix her breakfast. And me, look at me. Mm. In this kitchen, cooking and washing. What about her? She doesn't lift a finger around here. What gives her the right? Who does she think she is? Mother, please. Not so loud. She might hear you. Oh. So, I won't even be allowed to say what I feel in my own house. That woman upstairs, my son. She will be your downfall. She will ruin you. Mark my words. She is no good for you. Oh. Good morning. Good morning, Margaret. Uh, coffee? No, 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 thanks. I have an early lesson. 
Oh, who's coming in so early? I'll see you in the evening. And uh, I'll be paid today. I insist on buying dinner. She is just using you. The neighbors ask me about her all the time. Who is this woman? And what do you tell them, Mother? I tell them Margaret's my son's woman. I can't tell them that she's just a foreigner who won't even sleep with you, can I? I don't need that kind of love. You need a woman. Someone to make you feel like a man. Where is your aunt, Mademoiselle Beata? We are going to miss it. I wouldn't mind missing it. What a ridiculous idea to go watch an execution. And this is too early in the morning. Aunt? Lydia? You look gorgeous. It takes a while for me now to look gorgeous. <laughs> Unlike my niece. Horses are ready. Let's go. Mademoiselle, you're so early. I like to come here early in the morning. When it's quiet, and there's no people around. Huh. Here, catch. Uh, uh, can I? <laughs> of course. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're so good with horses. I spent all my days with them. I understand them. And do you ride well, too? I never rode outside. Would you like to try? <laughs> Is it allowed? Why not? Mademoiselle. I'm fine. How can one's life can end so horribly? It's not interesting at all. Ready? Life means nothing. Please, Lord, no! Fire! Don't 
leave me. Mademoiselle. Madam, wake up. Are you right? Madam. Come, get up. Mademoiselle! Try to stand up. Come on, you can make it. My dear, I'm glad to see they've laundered your clothes. Yes, madam. Thank you. On the way here, Margaret shared her story with me. It was so touching. Sit down, please, dear. Oh, I have a terrible headache, Beata. So, what are you up to now? I'm teaching horseback riding for the ladies at Monsieur Mollier's. Monsieur Mollier? How long have you been working for him? About a year now. Oh. I think I could help you, dear. You've done already so much for me, madame. Sympathy is so rare these days. <laughs> I think that I can offer more than sympathy. <laughs> Beata, bring my jewelry box. I have an idea. Come closer, dear. Come. You will move in here. You will have free room and board and I will pay you a salary to be my personal writing teacher. What do you say? It's so unexpected. I have to think about it. There is nothing to think about. We shall bring your things here tomorrow. Ah, a small token of gratitude for saving my life. I cannot accept. I'm sorry. This is nothing. My driver will take you wherever you need now. So naive. Oh, my God. Well done, my dear. For a moment, I almost believe you were sincerely grateful. <laughs> what do you want with her? I want her. <laughs> but don't worry, you will stay with me, too. And besides, we will help our dear Maximilian to get the better of his rival, Monsieur Molière. 
Do you have a plan? Not yet, but she has taken the bait. Mademoiselle. I've never been in an automobile before. Am I saying it right? You're saying it absolutely perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed it so much. I'm very happy you enjoyed it. Thank well, you. you have a nice day, and I'll see you again soon. Margaret. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, mademoiselle. Thank you so much, Gabriel. My pleasure. So, how's the lady you saved? Uh, a little bit bruised, that's all. She's going to be fine. I'm Sir Mollier. Margaret's back with us. Yeah. Yeah. You had us worried. And uh, I don't like it. You're disappearing just like that. I'm so sorry, Mr. Molly. I just wanted to take the boy for a ride, and, and this woman fell, and I just wanted... I know, I know. Lucas told me all about it. You came in, a, in an automobile. That woman you saved, who is she? Her, her name is... Um, her. Madame Kirievskaya. Did she promise you anything? Did she invite you into her house? Yes, she did. You're an honest woman, Margaret. I have always appreciated that, and I still do. I, I'm sorry, I don't understand. What are you trying to say? It's not that simple. In a word, I give you a choice. Either you continue your relationship with Madame Kirievskaya, or you work for me. You can't do both. Why not? My clients are respectable people. I have their daughters training here. But Kirievskaya, on the other hand, is not welcome in any respectable house. She is rich. And it's the only thing that is keeping her out of prison. I swear, Margaret, this is true. I have to think about it. Well, it's your choice. But it will ruin your reputation. And our friendship. I'm sorry to say. Nice doll. I think your daughter will be happy. I didn't put any notes to none in the box. Monsieur McLeod doesn't allow any letters from me. I notice. And I appreciate your honesty, madam, but this is inhumane. And I will be happy to violate this prohibition. Thank you. Well, here it is. Everything for what you need. I will be back in a few minutes. He really is a nice man. Yes. Do you think you can hire a lawyer in Amsterdam for me? I have the money now. Oh. So, uh, you've decided to accept Karievsky's money after all? I need it, Gabriel. Really? I understand. You'll be performing at the ball, won't you? For the opening ceremony of the new stables. I will. I could ask Molier to, uh, to lend you 2,000 francs against your salary. And mine, of course. You would do that? Well, he knows your situation. But he'd be happy to know that you've refused that dirty money. Well, look at it 
nice and clean in a minute, that's for sure. Monsieur Hubert! Make sure you... Mademoiselle. Hello. Could you please give this to the Contessa? Of course. Is there a message? No. No message? No message. Look at me. Why aren't the horses clean? They are, Monsieur Riddock. Well, they are. I'm telling you, talk back to me. Get out! Blowing half steam. <laughs> Lydia, what brings you here? Oh, I just came to see how things are going. Only three students at your school. Well. If my people talk less and work more, business would be flourishing. <laughs> you are a very good lover, Maximilian. But you are a very bad businessman. But I would like to help you, as your friend. <laughs> but how? By investing more money on me? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I'll help you to move closer to Vincennes. Are you joking? There is only one owner in Vincennes. And it's Molier. There's no way to compete with him. Look, he sent me invitations to his ball. To my dear colleague, Maximilian Riddock. He's mocking me. No, 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 no. Let me see. Have you found her? Of course I have. She lives in an apartment on Rue de Cabernier with Gabriel Truc and his mother. You still can't forget that Dutch girl, can you? She had the nerve to reject me. Nobody gets away with this. If you want, I can find ways to make her suffer. You know what I want? Hmm. I want her to come to me by herself. And then, then we'll see. <laughs> Oh, God. Work. I'm so excited Mr. Molly invited me to dance at his party. You think dancing such a great thing? Do you really? I can't believe you of all people who say that. You are a star of the circus. That I was. And look at me now. This kitchen has become my life. The life of a star is fleeting. When you are famous and rich, it is hard to remember. No one is better than the other. You forget that when the crowds are cheering and the men are falling at your feet. I would not change just because I became a star. It 
It's not a choice, Margaret. You get accustomed to the, to the crowd cheering you and loving you. And before you even realize it, you think you are better. But no. It's all an illusion. No, it's not. You did something. You're judging me for wanting more than I have. But you know what I've got? I've got nothing. I don't just want more. I need more. How will I get back to my daughter? With writing lessons? <laughs> you held the audience in your hands. You made a good living. Well, I'll drink to that. Here. Drink to my past, and I will drink to your future. What? Mademoiselle, Monsieur Astruc, good evening. Good evening. You're late. Monsieur Mollier was asking about you. <laughs> yes, I'm so sorry. We were uh, choosing a costume for Margaret. <laughs> it looks very good. Yes, I heard you're replacing the dancer who got sick. It's very exciting. Don't worry. Monsieur Mollier said he's looking forward to it. He said, today is a special day and we should all have a very good time. Actually, where is he? I would like to have a word with him. Uh, he's over there with the guests, and he asked me to make sure no one gets lost and bring him here, so if you excuse me. Right. Thank See you very you much, Lucas. Looks like it's going to be a lovely evening. I hope so. This is what you call the bon monde. Yes, indeed. The rich and the powerful. The damned and the beautiful. The upper class at its best. The damned? We won't be damned, will we? No, we're not. Especially not you, Margaret. Hmm? I have some good news. I talked to Molier, and uh, he promised to lend you the money you need by the end of the season. Oh, my God, Gabriel, this is, this is wonderful. I know. I don't know how to thank you. But I haven't done anything. Molly is the one lending in money, not me. <sighs> Margaret, please don't do that. My devotion is true love to you, Margaret. Once you understand that, then, well, maybe something might be possible between us. Oh, don't be silly, you lovely prince. Now come and dance with me. Good evening, madame. Monsieur? Good evening. Good evening. Maximilien Ridoch. Monsieur Mollier invited us. Welcome. It's at the front of the stables. Uh -huh. Could you show us the way, please? Certainly. Oh, you were with my dear Margaret the day I almost died, weren't you? Yes, it was me, madame. Now, if you please. Good evening, my savior. <laughs> Madame, what are you doing here? 
My friend Maximilian has been invited to the ball. You remember Maximilian, don't you? What? Are you afraid of me? Oh, no. You shouldn't be. I just wanted to thank you. And I don't need anything. Excuse me. Of course. Good luck. And remember, I'm a friend. Why is it running? Isn't it bad for the engine? Sometimes when it's cold, it has a little difficulty in starting. You know, my friend, I would love to have a drink. Is there any way you could show me to the ball? Uh, yes, of course. Can I come back and sit in the car after that? My friend, you can come back here and sit anytime you like. Follow me. And now, a special treat. Margaret Zell will perform an authentic Javanese dance. Mix the powder with the chemicals. You let it settle, and then you get out of there. Got it? Go. I like humiliation. It excites me terribly. Kirievskaya, what brings you here? Oh. This lady is with me. I am Maximilian Ridok. I'm sorry, Monsieur Ridok, but this is private property, and I have to ask the lady to leave. What? Oh, no, don't, Maximilian. We are leaving, and thank you. You're a wonderful host. Goodbye.
Hello? Who's there? Oh, you're back. Someone is in there. Oh, I don't hear anything. Listen. There it is again. Kill him. What the... No, no, no. Take him to the stables. Maximilian. Help him. Come on. Such a dancer. Amazing dancer. You should have seen me staring at you. Fire! Let's go and get some water and wash that acid off. I'm quite an expert in this. Just get in the car. Let's go. Sit down in the car, Maximilian. Gabriel. Chimoye? What did the doctor say? He never regained consciousness before he...
You ride me better than you ride your precious horses. <sighs> you enjoy humiliating me, don't you? <sighs> it's a way for me to have power over you. <laughs> I don't want power. I just do what you want me to. Everyone does what I want. Except that foolish girl. I would have given her everything. My love, my friendship, my money. We burned the stables to the ground. She will be back in no time, I can assure you. Someone is here for you. You have two minutes, no more. Hurry. Madame Kirevskaya asked me to check upon you. She is inviting you over, too. I can't leave now. If I leave now, I will lose my job. Understand. Working in a wash house must be really tough. Hands blistered, eyes burnt with bleach. Oh dear, you will turn into an old lady in no time. Puts foot on the table. Uh, too bad. Madame Kirevska had something really interesting to offer you. I think I know what she wants. Yet, give it a thought. but I found some chicory. It's nice. Oh, they found your purse at the stables. I think it's all there. I haven't found a job yet, but I was able to borrow a little money, not a lot, but enough to pay the lawyers for a weekend to get a little food. We don't want you to starve before seeing your daughters, do we? Leave up a few. And I don't want to starve either. What do you have in mind? I've got to pull myself together. I'm going to get dressed. Hello, mademoiselle. This way, please. Thank you. Hello, madam. Oh, Margaret. It's marvelous to see you. Second. Thing. You look so pale. Tea and sweets will be served in a second. You're so kind with me, madame. <sighs> I owe you an apology. Beata, don't be nervous. People are talking. 
nonsense about me. It's envy, nothing more. Come, come and sit. If you're still interested in hiring me as a writing teacher, I would be glad to. Oh, yes, yes. But it was before I saw you dancing. You are so beautiful, so <laughs> wonderful. There's so much passion and emotions. Well, my friends will pay good money for that to see you. I'm afraid I don't follow you. What? Are you asking me to perform? Yes. Don't say no. I need to think about it. Margaret, you need to think about your daughter. You need money to get her back, right? Oh, you can rehearse right here. Ah, we will discuss the details tomorrow. And now, Beata, please. You need to go to the cinema to see Isadora Duncan dance. Thank you, Dean. This is for the ticket. I don't know what to say. You can show me gratitude when you're famous. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some business to do. Oh, I understand. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.